Hello there, it's Halo with the Army Gun Report. Much going on. Let's jump right in. So here's the Northwest Pacific, where we've got a new one out there. Samba slash Karen. Karen being the Philippines name for the storm. Samba being basically everybody else's name for the storm. And then we've got two different medium outlooks as issued by the JTWC for these two different invest type areas. And this one is predicted, Samba predicted to become the equivalent of a Category 3 hurricane. So that would be a fairly massive typhoon at that point. Potential impacts to possibly even Taiwan, depending on how... I was <laughs> highlighting over the Philippines, talking about Taiwan. Taiwan, probably not going to be a threat to the Philippines. It'd probably be too small. But, I mean, it could be big enough at that point if it's the equivalent of Category 3 hurricane. Potential impacts to Japan out here. And Japan over there. China, South Korea. So something, obviously, to keep an eye on. Over here in the Eastern Pacific, 70% chance of tropical cyclone formation. That one would be Christy. We've got a new numbered storm. This is number 14. This is predicted to become a tropical storm shortly. So that one would be Nadine. And then this one also predicted to become a Category 1 hurricane. Now, depending on how it curves, it could become a threat to the Azores Islands or whatnot. Azores, I don't know how to, you know, just... I, I think it's Azores in Portuguese. I don't know. Anyway, Leslie has become post-tropical at this point. So the le this would be the latest or last final advisory is issued by the J JTWC. NHC. I'm in the wrong. What is the word? Basin right now. NHC. So though Leslie is predicted to go all over and hit Greenland and Iceland and, you know, maybe even visit Norway. Apparently that's going to be all as a post-tropical cyclone. Michael over here is forecast to become a rem remnant low later today. Right, that would be Baja Pression. Uh, that sounds French. Right, low pression. <laughs> that's what you do. It doesn't matter what you say. Just put that hard at the end and then it sounds French. That's what's going on tropical storm-wise. So yes, Leslie's still threat at the moment, but on the plus side, you know beginning to take but off and what not active weather hazards half the country is on fire or could potentially be on fire fuego right and here's where the water is too much uh what juvia that rain ju is, is it raining estar juviendo i don't even know what i'm talking about right and then we've got a uh, freeze warning so it's uh it's summer type things over here red flag warning that's where the fire weather is favorable so if the fire gets set it could spread quite quickly it could be due to you know drought conditions there could be low humidity there could be dry thunderstorms all sorts of stuff like that and then it's apparently winter right severe thunderstorm wise it's still pretty much peachy in fact there is wow all of that this is probably let's see flood warnings yep well, this is all oh that's not true Florida has a severe thunderstorm warning. How about that? But otherwise, it is uh, pretty much peachy until day three, and since that's only 5% at this point, we won't even cover it at the moment. Right, severewithertv.com is the official homepage of the screencast. Yardy, yardy, yardy. I'm just throwing in random syllables there. Yes, the screencasts are here. The drought is here. We can look and say, yep, there's still a drought. Oh my god, look at all that exceptional drought. And WikiWix is W I C K E D W X dot com. So I can look in. See It doesn't really help if I just kind of slurred all together. Right, that's how you spell that. Or you just read it out of your browser or something. Yes, that's it for today. Hope you're enjoying. Uh oh, what is today? Is it. Martyrs. Hopefully you will enjoy your Martyrs, your Deanstag, your Tizdog, and I've run out of languages.